parameter domain next to this uh, uh, global uh, analysis. And sigma, it, it, it determines how much our parameter uh, deviates from, from its mean due to interaction with different parameters. Uh, I'll show later the results. And uh, another uh, approach which was taken is a uh, so-called so variance, variance decomposition. If we, if we perturb all our parameters and make them stochastic, we get a stochastic output of, uh, output of our function. And we can find its mean value and uh, its variance. But uh, the so-called variance decomposition means uh, that variance uh, shows to us how uh, how uh, strong is the uh, effect of uh, uncertainties in input parameters on the output parameters. But so both the variance decomposition method allows us not only to, to, to say the total effect, uh, to, to see the total effect of all parameters, but also it decomposes it, the variance into the sum of linear terms, which gives us the input uh, of all of each input parameter into the uh, final variance plus uh, second order terms, which is the interaction be between uh, the parameters. And by summing up all inputs uh, for uh, some, uh, uh, well, these are non-dimensional uh, if we take this uh, each term divided by the total variance, we, we get so-called sensitivity indices. If we add up all indices uh, relating to, to i parameter, we get its total influence on, on the uh, uh, output parameter. Uh, okay, now, now I'll, I'll show how this works and maybe, maybe it will be, become more clear. So we've taken as the baseline, we've taken this case, this is from uh, uh, see fast uh, documentation. This is an uh, experiment uh, of 70th in, carried out in uh, factory mutual. And for this experiment, the documentation says that uh, C fast uh, behaves okay. We have a room with a fire source and a small vent. The, the room is connected through a door to a corridor. Then we have another room, and uh, the uh, further away, uh, at the end of the corridor, another room. But uh, to make this, uh, we, uh, to study different geometries, we've taken first this fire room as a separate room, and then we attached it to, to, to another room, and plus a room uh, uh, upstairs. And we wanted to see the um, uh, sensitivity to model parameters in this room, then in the, in, in the, uh, the room uh, up to the corridor, and the room upstairs. Uh, there are certain parameters, uh, well, we, we have a choice of what to, to consider as an uncertain here. We uh, took a collection of uh, everything, uh, like the maximum firepower in kilowatts, the baseline is 800, we, the range where we consider it uncertain from 700 to 1000. The same is uh, with uh, the time uh, to reach the power of 1 megawatt, this is an, uh, how the uh, speed of uh, fire development, uh, T squared fire development, is described in CFAS. Again, it's some baseline value, and we uh, have a range uh, around it. Then we also have a collection of, say, geometric parameters, length of fire room, uh, window height. Window is a small vent in our fire room. Window opening fraction. Oh. You have to be careful. Okay, I see. Mean, okay. 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 And then, then two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Is that the last speaker? Oh, the last speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll show one more. <laughs> okay. You have much slide. Hey? You have uh, how many slides do you have? You remember? I don't, 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 don't remember. But there are pictures. Pictures. Not not too much. Let, let me show one room, okay? Okay. Okay, okay so this is, a, this is a single room. We have a fire source in it, and we have a vent, and we have a window, and then we can see the many parameters as uncertain. This is our baseline scenario. We have an upper layer temperature going up. This is a, the 70 degrees is considered dangerous. 
So this is the time before we reach untenable conditions. This is an, an, another thing, is the height of our layer. It drops to 1 meter 70 in, uh, say, 30 seconds. And after that, the, the people lose the visibility. So let, uh, let me show you just to. This is the so-called Morris diagram. Here we have the average, and here we have sigma deviation. What, what to look at? We are looking at the points which are further away to, to the right. These are the parameters where we have most sensitivity. You can see that, that uh, here the, the time of uh, or speed of fire development is the most uh, parameter to, to which our both times are, are most uh, sensitive. And this is a so-called uh, so diagram. The higher this uh, bar, the more influential is the uh, individual parameter. And uh, we have, again, the champion here is uh, 1 megawatt. And uh, plus, on, on visibility, we have this parameter, which uh, is actually a subproduction. I'll skip it very quickly. This is uh, the same for, for uh, three room, and the same for uh, two, two, two layers. So the conclusions are very... Uh, well, this is a, like a, a mathematical exercise when, when we are applying uh, sensitivity analysis to, to zone models. The main conclusion which we, we reached that different parameters are uh, most influential for different things. And it's always necessary. That there is no single answer to, to the question what is the most influential parameter because it all uh, depends on geometry. It depends on what output function functions you are uh, looking at. And uh, this parameter should be actually accompanying usual deterministic analysis. And, and with modern computers, this can be done, uh, say, in one hour. So it's not a big thing. To, but to, to apply it to, uh, to, zone, to, to the zone model and sensitivity analysis. Thank you very much. I'm sorry for taking more time. Thank you. Thank you. Is there some question? Well, I have one. <laughs> okay. uh, I do not understand when you say that uh, your statistic statistical analysis is not local but is global. Yes. If I read carefully uh, the formula you put in your slide, it seems that you perform calculation from one point. Yeah. And what yeah. does it mean, global, in, in this formula? It means that, suppose we have two-dimensional area. Yes, but we, 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 you, you, we, change, you change all the x, uh, y position or x position, that means you cover yes, all? Yes, yes. We, 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 we take lots of points. In each point, we perturb each, each uh, parameter. And then we sum up this, yeah. this sum. But it's, it's only a, statical, statistical, a traditional statistical analysis with changing the baseline, in fact. It is nothing no, else. No, 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 because, don't because we don't have baseline here. But you show baseline on, on, on the table. Like, uh, can we go further? Well, yes, but you this, the, this was only for illustration, like the baseline was, was in the middle. But this doesn't mean that the no. values will change if I, if I draw, draw another one. And how do you perform this? Uh, the, the, how do you estimate the delta parameter? I don't understand how statistically well, well, delta parameter you have to, to, to change it it's it's uh, like in, in, in each parameter in the quarter you, you say that I want the, the range to be split in, in, into say five intervals and that's uh, that, that's it five intervals with each, each so variable covers all its intervals okay so there's uh, some choice on delta Yes, oh, but okay. yes, as in any statistics, uh, yeah. yes, but this is... Suppose, and how the results depend on this? It, de it depends, uh, not, not, not too much, but depends, but th this is a, a fast analysis. This is a kind of preliminary analysis. This analysis it takes lots more time, because the sampling like 50,000 points, and it in turn is, uh, it takes some intervals to, 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 to decompose this. But the results we get it doesn't have a tweakable parameters. It just covers all, 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 all the area. And you know, some people try to do statistical analysis not only on the uncertainty of the modelizations, but also due to uh, 
probability of different events. And you try to do that. Uh, maybe when we look at a high building, we don't know exactly to, which door is open, uh, how many uh, combustible. Yes, but, but, but this is a slightly is different because, because this should be based on the event tree and, and analysis and things like this. You, you will go on that or you uh, try to do that? Well, we try to do that, but. But this this is not not directly, no, no, I, not I directly about this. But but mm. well, yes yes. Okay.